This is the 3-6 review number 8. Calculators are allowed, but again, you will not need one. You could probably use one if you wanted, but it's not necessary. So here we're supposed to find the derivative when x equals 3. So the first thing I see is that x is equal to 3, but I'm not given a y coordinate. And chances are very good that since the y is not isolated here, that my dy dx is also going to involve a y coordinate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug that 3 in so that I can figure out what the y coordinate is that goes with it. If I do that here, I'll have a 2 times a 3 is a 6y plus a 9 equals a 15. Finish it up, I get a 6y equals a 6, or a y equals a 1. So now I know with part A that the point I'm going to be working with is 3 comma 1. So if I want to figure out the derivative at that point, I need to do my implicit differentiation. So I'm differentiating with respect to x on both sides. which will take me to product rule here, keep the 2 attached. So 2x times a dy dx plus a y times a 2. Finish the product rule, now I move to the, two x, or the x squared whose derivative is 2x, and on the other side I have a 0. Notice there's only one term with the dy dx in it, so I can move both of these to the other side. They'll both become negative, and then I'll divide by the 2x. Notice that 2 is a factor of everything, so I can factor it out. That'll give me a negative x minus a y over a 2, excuse me, over an x. So now I will evaluate at the point 3, 1, so where there is a 3 or an x, I put a 3. Where there's a y, I put a 1. Where there's an x, I put a 3. I end up with a negative 4 thirds as my slope. Let's do b, which works very similarly. My first job is to plug in the x. And then figure out what the y is going to be. In this case, I'm going to have two of them. So I'll have the point 3, 4, and I'll have the point 3, negative 1. So if I plug those in, B, I need to, f I know I'm using those points, now I need to find the dy dx so that I can plug them in and evaluate at that point. So I will differentiate with respect to x on both sides. And be aware that a lot of people make mistakes if you're subtracting. So make this a plus a negative x and keep that negative as part of the product. So we'll end up with the derivative of y squared, which is 2y dy dx plus the first one times the derivative of y plus the second one, which is y, times the derivative of negative x, which is a negative 1. And on the other side, I'll have a 0. Notice this time I have two terms with dy dx's in them, and only one term without. So I'm going to factor the dy dx out of these two. I'll have a 2y minus an x, and on the other side, I'll move the negative y. It becomes a positive y. So now I have dy dx equals y divided by 2y minus x. And I've got two different points that I want to evaluate at. The first one was 3 comma 4. The second one was 3 comma negative 1. So if I evaluate at 3, 4, that means where the y's are, I'll put a 4. Where the x's are, I'll put a 3. So this one gives me four-fifths as a slope. My other one will be that dy dx evaluated at 3, negative 1, which will give me a negative 1 on top, a negative 2 minus a 3, which is a negative 1, over negative 5 gives me a positive one-fifth. So I had two different slopes when my x-coordinates were 3. 
Final problem C. Again, x is still 3, so I'm going to plug in a 3 here to find out what y goes with it. I have a y squared plus a 9y minus a 3, and then I have a 19 on the other side, so I'll bring that over because I know I'm going to have to factor. That gives me a y squared minus, plus a 9y minus a 22, which factors into y plus 11 and y minus 2. So my solutions will be y equals negative 11 and y equals 2. So that means I got two points, 3 negative 11 and 3, 2. So let's find dy dx using the same process we did before. I will take the derivative of a y squared plus a 3xy minus an x equals the derivative of 19. I'm going to scoot this up so we can see it now. Derivative of the left, I will have to do the power rule and the derivative of the inside. Then I'll move, keep the 3 attached to the x in the product rule. So the first one times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first minus derivative of negative x is a negative 1. On the other side, derivative of the constant is 0. Notice I have two terms with a dy dx and two terms without a dy dx. So I'm going to leave the dy dx's on the left and factor out the dy dx. And I'll move these two to the other side. So I'll have a positive 1 and a negative 3y. So dy dx is now 1 minus 3y over 2y plus 3x. I want to evaluate at my first point, which was 3, negative 11. That will give me a 1 plus a 33 over a negative 22 plus a 9, which simplifies to 34 over 13, negative. And then I want to do it again for the second point, which is 3, 2, which will give me 1 minus 6 over 4 plus 9, which gives me a negative 5 over 13.